Hello, my name is Yonis Dizoglu. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Tinkercad. To get started, you need to go to tinkercad.com and then you need to click create a new account. Once your account has been created, create a new design. Click create new design. And this is your platform, your work plane. So if you right click, you will be able to basically rotate. If you use the wheel on your mouse, you will be able to zoom in and zoom out. If you click and drag your wheel on your mouse, you will be able to actually change uh, the work plane position. So you can move it to the left, you can move it to the right, up or down. Uh, let's go there. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is go here to the tools and basically keep click and drag to apply some tools here. Now you can create all sorts of different objects, like you can create a house. So if you want to make sure that everything is in is placed appropriately, you just right click and rotate your work plane, use select the object and then you can click and drag to move the object or you could actually use the uh, arrow keys on your keyboard to move the object uh, to a specific location so once you're happy with the object you could actually leave it as it is or you can actually group the object so you can highlight both elements and select group if you group the object the object will act as one object and as a result a single color will apply it if you want to change the color you can change the color by clicking here if you want to make it transparent, you click on this option here and the object is transparent. You can say through. OK, so by basically let's click and drag by clicking and dragging, you can actually increase the height. Move the object left, move the, move the object right. You can change the size of the object by actually clicking on the little black squares there. You can change it. So let's change it from 20 to 5. Press enter. Just going to click here now. Sorry, here. I'm just going to change the 20 to 5. And then I'm going to click here as well. I'm just going to change the 20 to 5. So I've got a novel shape, but smaller size now. I can use my arrows on my keyboard to place it to the position I would like. So if you look omnipresent from the top. Then you can click and drag to bring it down a bit. I just made a muffin. Okay, so you could actually experiment with different things. Yeah, you can resize it by clicking and dragging. Just made the submarine here. Again, I can make a boat. Just made the boat here. Okay, so you can experiment with different things, and once you're happy with this, let's make let's separate this now again it's gonna lift the roof a little bit up oops click away let's click on the roof so you can actually see the two different objects so what i'm going to do i'm just going to remove that in fact i'll leave this as it is there as well i'm just going to click on the tinkercad uh, this will save my work so once my work has is been saved, I can click here and wait until the icon is generated. And then basically, I don't really have to wait. You can click on download. Uh, I'm just going to select OBJ. And now if I go to show in folder, I'm going to double click here. And I'm going to copy these OBJ files. The only thing I need is the Tinker file. 
dot obj uh, i'll go to my desktop let's create a new folder there's only a temporary folder here i'm just going to paste the obj file i'm going to go now to my unity i've got a terrain on my unity so i've only added terrain so i'm just going to delete the terrain i'm going to show you how to add the terrain just in case you didn't know so you click on the plus icon 3d object and then select terrain so now i'm going to go to my assets to my project panel go to my assets i'm going to right click select create new folder i'm just going to call this folder tc for tinkercad i'm going to double click the tinkercad folder and i'm going to bring up my uh folder i just created sorry not that one let's close that that's a zip folder is that one i think yeah so i can click and drag this object now here uh, as you can see i've got all the elements here i can click and drag these elements here And I just need to basically lift them up a bit. Yeah. And rotate them. Let's use the rotation tool. I could now right click here. Let's expand that. Okay. I can right click, select uh, create, and then select material. And I'm just gonna call this material material uh, red, red. I'm just gonna create a new material. I'm just gonna call this material brown. I'm gonna create a new material, and I'm gonna call this. Uh, let's call it. Uh, yellow so the yellow i'm gonna make you start singing now it's gonna be my submarine so i'm gonna select yellow and now i'm gonna click and drag my yellow here so this is a yellow submarine uh for i'm gonna select the red material change the red color to the material to red I'm going to click on brown and change the material to brown. Uh, for the house, I'm going to make the house brown. And for the roof, I'm going to make the roof reddish. If I click on the object here, I will be able to basically move the object. So here's the Tinkercad object. We'll be able to move the object, the objects all together. If I want to move the objects individually, I can expand on the Tinker here. Click on this object. Let's click on that one here. That's the roof. We can bring the roof up or down a bit. So we can zoom in. The right click on the mouse. Okay. So let's go on the other side. The house is floating. Let's bring the house down a bit. Oops. Let's click here. Let's bring the whole thing down a bit. So level with the ground. That this will do. Just singing a bit. It's all right. Now, if you are far away from your object if you click on the object for example i want to go to the roof of the uh, house if i click on this object here i click the letter f of my on my keyboard but make sure before you do that make sure the mouse cursor is within your scene press the letter f and then this will focus basically uh, the object that you have selected so let's zoom out 
now here you will be able to extract uh, the materials here so you can actually extract the prefab material and you can extract that one select the folder you can extract that one select the folder you can extract that one and now you have extracted them you can actually highlight them and delete them I just click on the first one hold the shift key down on my keyboard click on the last one and press the delete key and you remove them because you already have your own materials here now you will not be able to extract the actual objects when they are obj okay if you click on this object here and press the delete key on the keyboard you won't be able to delete the objects individually because they're still acting as one so my advice to you is if you do want to have separate uh, objects basically set them separately within Tinkercad and then bring them into your unity project now by using unity uh, sorry Tinkercad you have some limitations okay with the textures for example if i uh, try to bring a picture here a texture let's go to the downloads so I've got some texture here. I'm just going to click and drag it here. And if I click and drag a texture here, I won't be able to do it. However, if I click and drag my texture within a material, so I'm going to select this material here, and I'm going to click and drag the te texture here to Albedo. As you can see, this will not will blend this in. It's not going to show the uh, texture there. Okay so if you want to basically uh, have textures you need to create objects within unity or a different uh, software application for example if i go here to the plus create 3d object let's create a cube i'm just going to increase the size of the cube And I'm just going to bring the cube on this side a little bit. Okay. So if I click, if I select this object now, uh, and I click and drag to Alberto here, I could actually click and drag now this object here, and then you will be able to see the texture. Okay. So... In order for you to create textures, you need to create the objects within Unity or 3ds Max or a different platform. Okay, so if I found a way, if uh, Tinkercad introduced a way that basically you will be able to apply textures, I will provide a new video tutorial here. But as far as I know, uh, it's not possible yet, unless I have uh, missed it. But again, if I found out, if you think that you can actually create uh, an object within uh, Tinkercad and you can actually create uh, textures as well, uh, or you can manipulate Unity in somehow, some way to actually introduce the textures into your uh, Tinkercad objects, please do let me know on the comments below. Okay, so this is how you import data into uh, Unity. This is how you basically customizing your elements within Unity. And if I would like to uh, basically replicate this, let's change that to uh, house, house one. Now, if I click on this house one now, I hold the control key down on my keyboard, I keep pressing the letter D on the keyboard, I will be able to basically generate copies of this object. And as a result, let's go here, you could then start basically replicating this. Sorry, move them around. 
and then basically you're creating series of houses oh, this could be a canoe instead of submarine and people basically will be able to Oops, what happened there? Oh, that's quite interesting. Okay, this is sink down. Okay. Because the terrain, the house is going down. You have to raise them up. Okay, so this is how you duplicating elements within Unity. Oops. Okay, I just moved the roof there. So you can control Z to undo if you made a mistake. Make you you select the whole object. Then you lift up the whole object. Okay. Uh, and this is how you basically creating a Tinkercad object, bring the Tinkercad object into Unity, then manipulate the Tinkercad Tinkercad object and duplicate the Tinkercad object. Hope you learned something new today. I hope you will apply these new skills of yours to create great video games. Thank you. Bye.